My name's Scott Jensen, and ever since I was young, I've loved motorsport. Watching Ayrton Senna win all those races, playing Skeletrix after school with my mates, go-karting, oh how that was fun, reading about the latest F1 news, going some more go-karting and building my way up, getting to that top step of the podium, and pointing the Vettel finger. Passing my driving test, tearing up that learner's plate, oh that was sweet, making it to the feeder series and working my way up the ranks. And to this, people taking my picture, winning the cup, being told I'm doing brilliantly and I'm going to make it, training hard and watching my idol Jensen Bunn win the World Championship in 2009. And now this, we're here. I'm going to pack my bags and hand in my passport because I'm on my way to Abu Dhabi for the Young Drivers Test. I'm now a Ferrari Young Driver in the Driver Academy. I'm going to be testing for them for a seat in Formula 1. So here we go guys. Formula One, here we come. Hello and welcome to the fabulous Yas Marina circuit here in Abu Dhabi, the location for this year's Young Driver Test. Over the next two days, we'll go behind the scenes as we watch the teams put the next generation of potential Formula One drivers through a series of tests to uncover the next superstar. Ask any of the team principals whether outright speed is the sole requirement and they'll tell you that consistency, feedback and attitude are equally important. Still a few record times wouldn't hurt a driver's chances of securing a seat for next season. And right on cue, the first engine of the day has fired into life right below my commentary box. So I think we'll soon see a car out on track. Hey, good to see you again. As your race engineer, it's my job to support you this weekend. When you're out on track, we'll remain in contact via radio. I'll feed you information as and when you need it. As discussed in the team briefing, we're not looking for outright speed to begin with, so just take your time. Follow my instructions and you'll do great. I'll just check the lads are ready. when you're in the car. Okay, let's get you strapped in. Hey the guys, it's Arava here, bringing you my F1 2013 career mode, and finally I get to talk to you, and as you've already seen, we're going to be driving this career mode as alter ego Scott Jensen. I'm going to be taking his persona, his own made up and new personality for this career mode, and we're going to be taking you through today the Young Drivers Test as Scott Jensen. So if you guys like this idea, give it a like, comment below on what you think. So yeah, I guess we'll jump straight into it with the most interesting parts of the Young Driver Test as Scott Jensen. So let's get into it. All right, so um, yeah, so Ferrari want me to do a straight line test here, so uh, yeah, should be good. Uh, traction's feeling good, car feels nice, a bit different, and uh, to what I thought, I mean, I'm used to the GP2 cars, obviously, but um, it's going well. The car feels really powerful. Wow, the power of Formula One is uh, feeling nice here, and uh, yeah, a bit nervous here though, so I'm gonna have to pace myself. I just want to go for consistency here in the young driver's test, and we'll see how it goes really. And uh, so. The day's nearly ending, really. It's been a hectic first Young Drivers Test Day. And now uh, they, they're wanting me to uh, do a start with these other guys. I think uh, Rossi there, the American. So I'm going to try and pass him nice and clean. He's going to use a lot of my curves here. And uh, I'm going to apply DRS when I need to. And we've got a fellow Brit there, Turvey. Nice chat with him at lunchtime. He's a nice guy. 
I hope he makes it into Formula 1 soon. I'll be gunning for Formula 1 as well. Get past the Frenchman right there. And oh, go, going a bit wide. Oh, damn it. I hope the team don't see that too much. And uh, don't please penalise me for that. I really want to impress Ferrari here. Because if I do, I might be getting a seat in a lower team. And might be on my way to drive for them later on in Formula 1. But first, let's get through the day. Just going to finish up here. And there we have it. Wow. Really pumped here. First, first great day. On to the second day now. And... Uh, so the second day should bring some more action. I think we're going to be doing some uh, laps here. So I can show the team my pace and my speed. Obviously, I still need to get used to the car and to the wheel and everything like that and all the settings, really, of the setup and uh, just get used to it, really. And uh, Abu Dhabi, it's a tricky circuit and uh, one of my favourites in GP2. So uh, let's see. So I've been tasked with doing a lap around the Abu Dhabi circuit and try and hit all the apexes they want the team to do so we're going to go through this lap and i'm going to commentate through this lap here so we're coming through to the first corner going to kiss the apex just about just missed a tiny tiny bit we're going to still kind of hit the apex there going to clip the curb on the left they're going to really go aggressive on the right going to go right over the bump and on the left nearly go wide there so don't want to go too wide there of all the time now we're going to really break hard into the left hander and then right hander not going to put the accelerator down too much because then we've got this hairpin which is really tricky now and uh very different to gp2 really and so now we're going to use a lot of the curves here down the straight. Wow, the engine power is just so sweet here in this Ferrari. And then we're going to open DRS and the car feels lovely. And wow, look at that. The Skyline Rabbit Derby is brilliant, brilliant stuff. And uh, I think they made the circuit a lot better than it was last year. So now we're coming through. We hit the apex very nicely. We're going to lose the rear a tiny bit. We're going to have to be a bit more careful than we were in GP2. And, uh, you know, just a lot less traction here in F1. Uh, even though you've got the higher speeds, uh, the traction is uh, the traction control is a bit different here. So now we're going to go down the gears and we're going to really clip the curb there. Bit of a, maybe a bit of a track extending there, but we'll, uh, hopefully Ferrari don't see that too much. I'm going to clip the curb there very nicely. And, ooh, the sun glaring in my eyes. Wow, that is some sunset there. And it's sort of illuminating my car. Um, so we're coming through the apex and we're going to break down into first gear there. We're going to clip the curb very nicely. It's all going very nice. I feel quite comfortable in this Ferrari right now. Going over the apex there. It's all very good. And we're through. And I want to go through in the sun there. Jesus, that is blinding as hell. Freaking hell. Um, going to have to <laughs> ask some of the engineers if it's always like that. Because uh, I think I'll probably even do a blinder and do a grosier. I don't want to do that, obviously. And so we're coming through. I'm going to finish the lap. And wow, what a lap. This, this car feels immense. And so now we're here and we're tasked with doing two laps. We're going to try and overtake some people while we're doing it. So we're going to get off the line and wow, bit of a wheel spin there, but an okay start. We're going to really impress Ferrari today. And we're going to try and finish this second day off and the whole young driver sets off with a bang. We're trying to overtake all the cars on track right now. I'm going to really push and try and impress them right now. And look at that sky, I can't help but look at it. But eyes on the track now, we're going to really push. And I think we might have Rossi up ahead. We're going to go through the left-hander and the right-hander chicane. Going to very nicely pull some time on Rossi. I think that is into the hairpin. We'll have to see. We're going to go on the hairpin, go a bit wide there. Didn't really clip the apex properly. We're going to use a lot of our curse here. And I think I can see Rossi in the distance there. And wow, look at that sunset on the right. It's absolutely stunning here. And wow, this is, I, I just need to soak it all in. I can't really believe I'm here in Formula 1. And uh, hopefully I'll be staying here. Maybe not in a Ferrari, of course, but maybe in a lower team. We'll have to see at the end of this. And so, yes, it is Rossi, the American in the k -Tram. So we're going to have to see. We're going to use a lot of curse here. Going to try and overtake him, hopefully. Don't want to touch him. We're going to be very careful. Don't want to upset our team managers here in Ferrari. Oh, God, that was really close there. But luckily we haven't touched, so that won't upset Stefano Dominicali there. So now down the gears into first. Going to take the left hander quite nicely. Going to clip these curbs. I think we've got Turvey here, fellow Brit. As I said, he's a very nice chap. Had a very nice talk with him about the season going right now. And Sebastian Vettel really doing well to get on to his uh, third world title. And I think he'll do it personally. And, uh, you know, I think he'll go on to, yeah, win that third title. It's going to be interesting to see how things are going to turn out next season. Hopefully I'll be racing, you know, well, with him. I, I, probably not against him, but it'll be really interesting for 2013 to see what happens. We're here in 2012 right now at the moment. He's gun gunning for his third title. So it uh, looks pretty good. And we had a nice talk about that with Turby. So, oh, God, nearly lost the rear. That Ooh, didn't want to lose the car there. That would have been completely embarrassing if I lost the car there. But now we've got, I think this is a Frenchman. I can't remember his name. I've never been too fond of uh, this Frenchman driver. Uh, he gave me a bit of sass 
in the uh, driving pressure in my thing, I took one of his water bottles, and he, uh, he you know, it was the last one, he really wanted some water, uh, you know, tough luck, I got to the water first. And so, yeah, it's Prost, um, you know, obviously a famous name in Formula 1, but that doesn't stop me getting, oh, God, Jesus, we nearly crashed into him there, but, yeah, no, no, no kind of, uh, no hard feelings, I think, I hope at least. But, you know, the water was there. I, I was pretty thirsty as well. So, uh, you know, frankly, he can go get his own water. Um, so, yeah, we passed him there. And it's pretty good. I'm getting pretty confident in this Ferrari. Can't get too comfortable, though, because obviously, um, you know, the you know the car I hopefully might be driving will not be anything like this. The tower force will be much lower. But, you know, it's feeling really nice. And it's got some good mechanical grip over the bumps. So now we're going through the old pit lane. Uh, the pit, uh, not the old one, the alternative pit straight so we open the DRS and uh, really weird to get used to this new system of DRS uh, that they're wanting me to run where I can only open it on the different sections I preferred uh, what it is like in the current proper season where they can open it through the whole time but oh god we're going really wide I hope Ferrari did not catch too much of that obviously they're monitoring everything and I'm hoping I'm doing the tyres justice because I think uh, you know going into that so I, was, I kept on telling them I kept on telling my tyre wear is very good I can maybe do one less stop than most people maybe and uh, that might be an asset to them uh, you know if one day I'll have to drive for them but now we're going towards the end of the lap and this is they're going to close out a spectacular long drivers test here for me and uh, it's been great I met some great people I met the Ferrari guys hopefully I've uh, kind of impressed them enough to maybe get the drive and that's it guys this might be my last time in a Formula 1 car for a while maybe unless I maybe get that seat next season so we have to see but that was a really great great test there and so I'll be gunning to try and get a seat maybe in Toro Rosso or maybe Sauber really and we'll have to see and uh, of course I'm a Ferrari young driver so you know, they have, they've chosen me for a reason to do this test, so hopefully they'll be promoting me there. But, uh, you know, we did really well in the on-drive test, and uh, we completed all the objectives, and it looks like the team are really happy, so we'll just have to kind of see, really. So, yeah, this is Scott Jensen signing out. So, yeah, guys, that was uh, Scott Jensen's trip through the young drivers test, and I think coming in, breaking news. Yes, breaking news from Sky Sports F1. This is an exclusive. We've got Scott Jensen joining Toro Rosso. This is a Sky F1 exclusive here. We've just been told by the Ferrari firm that he has been signed for Toro Rosso for the new season in their Ferrari Driver Academy. He will be racing for Toro Rosso alongside Jean-Éric Verne. So now we've got an interview with him exclusively here on Sky Sports. So, um, uh, Scott, uh, you've just been signed for uh, Toro Rosso. So uh, how do you feel about this? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really excited for this. Uh, being in Toro Rosso is going to be amazing, you know, being in the eyes of Formula 1, not just Ferrari, but also Red Bull, obviously, because I'll be in Toro Rosso, partnering with Jean-Éric Vern, um, you know, he re really impressed last season. So uh, this is going to be a great opportunity for me. I'm just going to try and be as consistent as possible, really. And, uh, you know, I can't wait for Australia, really. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, we'll see you in Australia then. And, uh, you know, again, very congratulations to you for getting that Toro Rosso spot and I hope you enjoy the rest of your break until you go to Toro Rosso. Yeah, not much of a break, stuff, GP2 to think about, but yeah, it should be really good. So yes, that has been the exclusive news here on Sky Sports F1. Scott Jensen to Toro Rosso for 2013. So there you have it guys, we have ended the first episode of the career mode, please comment below if you like this style or if you want me to change it up, give it a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to you for weekly F1 and all F1 2013 career episodes, I'm hoping to make my channel number one for career mode this season, uh, this year, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the day, I've been Rafa and we'll see you guys next time.